Hello YouTube, I want to go ahead and show you what we've been doing here today. You can see I've got some of the wires uh, that I've been installing. I've run it in and over to our connections. We've got uh, the two power wires going over here, the two supply wires going over here, and this I was going to put as a neutral wire because I'm going to definitely need a number six gauge for the neutral wire. And I've got a six gauge run to the panel but this six gauge won't be able to be tidied up. It'll be strung out like that. And uh, it'd be strung out like that because there's only so much room over there, which I want it to be cleaned up. I'm not sure if I'm going to uh, find another piece of number six gauge wire or not. I'm gonna look, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna find it. But also I want you to take a look at this piece of pipe here. This piece of pipe um, I put in and I want you to see it. it's curved. So let's take a closer look at it. You can see how it's curved. Let's get a top down view. You can see this is a curved piece of pipe and it runs the wires. Gosh, it looks like a mess right here, but we're gonna tidy it all up. That's just a bunch of extra scrap wire coming through right there. See this right here, that's extra scrap. I just gotta cut it in half, trim it off. Here's some more, gotta cut it in half and trim it off. But, you know, what I was wanting to show you is it's curved right here. You can't buy it like that. You gotta make it like that. So what I had done is I took him a piece of pipe, here's a piece of pipe over here, and I'll go ahead and show you what I've done. Opened up my vise, clamped the pipe in the vise, cut it off about right here. That way the clamp will keep the pipe cooler on this stretch. I took my torch, turned it on, and I put the torch directly inside the pipe in the center. Now. As long as you put it in the center, it's going to create a draft and keep the walls cooler than normal because you would think it's going to catch on fire. Well, it didn't, and it worked really, really well. Basically, I was able to heat the entire section of the pipe up above the point where I was at. So, I got it uh, to uh, heat up and mold it into the shape that I wanted it to, and then now it's that uh, nice little S-curve right there. It's really cool. It only took about five minutes to do. So now I've got that S curve and it comes out nicely. You know, it's nice and touched to the wall and then bam, comes out gently, doesn't, doesn't hit anything and then it straightens back out beautifully. So that's, that's a way that you can uh, set up your pipe whenever you're doing a job. So, I mean, I've got the high voltage run from the breaker panel to the inverter then from the inverter I've got it uh, ran right here then it goes down to right here and I've got that tied in and the neutral leg is it goes right here and then it goes back down to this bar here which is grounded I've got one ground I've got to have another ground right here to here and I've got grounds that I got to run through the conduit to here and I got a uh, neutral leg that I, I'm not for sure if I'm going to use this one or if I'm going to go get another one. I will color code all this stuff with electric tape and that way it's all labeled. See this is a black wire, it's in the red which, you know, black or red is considered hot. This is considered hot and see I've got red tape on this one down here but it's really old red tape. It's all I had. Uh, that was still attached to the wire at the point in time. And I'm currently doing a test on my Midnight Classic. And you can see we're at 87.3 amps. It is not 1 o'clock yet. It's still 
we still got some time before one o'clock. It's twelve nineteen. Okay, it's solar noon. It's about one o seven right now. It's pretty close to solar noon. And our amps is not going up on our charge controller. I want you guys to see the tilt of the solar panels. Let me go ahead and lift it up here so you can see. Now, if you look here, if the solar panels was tilted this much, it would be perfect solar noon. But it's tilted like three degrees off. Three degrees is not gonna affect 800 watts from two weeks ago to today. And I'll take a snap photo for you right now of what we got going on. See, we're making less power than before maybe because i got some of the cells shaded i'm gonna take it directly off okay you can see it i don't know if you can't see it here let's just there we go there's a picture of it and i want you guys to see that i'm not making the full amount of power what i had done is i installed the Whiz Bang Junior and this thing, uh, my charge controller get it, it get to 190 degrees all the time, and uh, I think the limit is supposed to be 150. And I went 40 degrees past that, and I think I might, you know, the MOSFETs might have, you know, quit on it. So <clears throat> the temperature affects the classic charge controller which is not good you can see my solar array it's all clean there's nothing on it and this is 3000 watts and i'm making 22 2100 watts right now and it's 115 or so and two weeks ago i was making 96 amps output that's what happens when you let your classic get hot i'm gonna have to send it in for service so this is built 20 with solar power electricity and electronics and i'm gonna holler at y'all later